this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver. Good morning, Polly Reindeer. All right, this time I'm going to throw the egg really fast. I'm not going to throw it up. I'm just going to throw it in a straight line in front of me where I'm aiming. Where's William going? You're not going to catch it all the way down there, William. <laughs> so whoever whoever catches the egg is the winner. So you basically need to be in front of the other person, but make sure you can get it. Right. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I don't even... I, I think Polly just punched William and then the egg just hit the floor. <laughs> we'll try that again next time. That's quite a fun one. Everyone just jostling from posi uh, position. Oh, wait, I got another egg. I got another egg. I got another egg. I got another egg. Right, round two. Round two. Rematch. Right, I'm going to throw it in a straight line here. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I think Polly got it. I think William punched Polly and that actually helped Polly and then Polly was able to get the egg. <laughs> GG. All uh, right, then. Let me go and have my breakfast. <clears throat> nom, 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 nom. Very, very tasty. Uh, let me go up to uh, Barnaby's a little loft. And uh, Barnaby, do you want to stand up and join me? Are you going <laughs> to... Are you going to actually stand... I'm pressing it. Are you going to stand up? Bar there we go. Eventually, Barnaby decided to, to stand up and, uh, and join me. Uh, right then, let me go down to the uh, the love garden. I will let you know who we are adding uh, to it today. And uh, if you are new here, basically, we add someone uh, to the love garden at the beginning of every single episode and say thank you to them for some reason. And today, we are adding Jacob. And that is for this lovely drawing that they did on a plate. And uh, you can see that uh, there is me and uh, a bunch of my helpers uh, as well and Teddy the cat as well who also apparently helped um, I'm not sure how much Teddy helped but apparently they helped as well so thank you so much for doing that Jacob and welcome to my love garden uh, right then let's go drop Barnaby off at the uh, the dog house and then we are going to be going over to the uh, the fun land today uh, quite close uh, to where the, the town is uh, to build a, a brand new mini game and the plan is this is going to be a one episode build and there's been times in the past I've said that and it's ended up being more than one episode build but that is the uh, the plan today is to get the entire thing done and uh flippy you can uh, stand up and uh, you can join us to today and uh, you know what because we're building quite close i think i'm gonna go in a boat uh, rather than teleporting because i don't really need to teleport so it's good i can go to my my new dock because we spent ages building the dock and the yacht and I haven't really spent much time seeing it so uh, yeah i can go down there and grab a boat uh, but yeah while i'm on the way let me explain what we're building so Basically, I'm building a game which is inspired by a game that I used to play at school. And it sounds quite boring, but it's actually really fun. We played it all the time. Basically, you do it on, like, graph paper, like paper with squares on it. And you take turns drawing a line around, like, the, the squares that are on the paper. And I promise you, it is, it is a fun game. I know this sounds really boring. We take turns drawing squares. Basically, you take turns drawing lines. And then if you make a square, then you're able to, to draw another line. And then you mark the square that you uh, built as, like, your name. Like, you put your initials in it. And basically... Uh, you keep going until uh, the whole page is filled up and then you see who built the most squares and it's really good because it would always be really close because you don't want to actually straight up build a square because if I like place three lines and obviously then there's one line left to finish doing the square I don't want to do that because I'm just setting up my partner to get it so you always kind of end up in like a, a weird situation where like there's loads of like squares that are almost ready to build, be built but they're not quite and then someone finally fills one in and then once one's filled in it kind of starts a giant chain reaction where they're able to like do loads of squares so I'm going to do a Minecraft version of that and then there will be a little bit, uh, bit of a twist as well because whenever I kind of get like inspired by like a real life game or like another game I always like to do some sort of little twist on it so I will explain about that in the uh, yeah a little bit later on and um, we're going to be using redstone as well so uh, the good thing about redstone is because you can place it down and obviously it will be down as just like a little redstone blob let me demonstrate even though I'm sure you will know what I mean so yeah obviously redstone is just like a little blob but then if you go and place it like this it will do like a perfect straight line and so I feel like it's just perfect because it could be like this and you're trying to make a box and then it makes like a very clear box like that and then the way it's going to be marked for like um who's uh, like box created it they basically just put down a bit of carpet and then the other good thing about both redstone and carpets is they get destroyed by water and that's usually not a good thing because <laughs> your builds can end up getting destroyed but in this case it actually is like a really good thing uh, basically because 
uh, it means that we can reset the game really easily. So rather than kind of doing the whole game and then having to go through and pick it all up, uh, I'm going to have a dispenser, which is going to be at the top and just going to drop down a bunch of water over everything, uh, which will destroy all of the uh, the redstone and the carpets and just kind of make it go to the, the corners. And then you can just go and gather it all up uh, really easily. So yeah, that's basically what the uh, the game is going to, to be. In terms of the, the design, uh, I'm doing it uh, black and white. So it's going to be quartz for the, the white and then black concrete uh, for the black. And the reason for this is because it's a bit of almost like a, a board game. And so I think that uh, doing it as a, as just black and white, kind of almost like a like a chess set or something, uh, just seemed quite uh, appropriate. And then also because you're going to be filling it all in with your colours, if I did it all, I don't know, like bright yellow, uh, it might look a little bit weird when you're then like press, uh, pressing down like uh, all of the, the other colours. So I thought like uh, black and white is just like a nice blank canvas. So uh, this is just kind of the border. This is mainly to stop the water going everywhere. And then on the inside here uh, is going to be the, uh, the actual uh, game board so uh basically there's going to be certain places because obviously we don't have giant graph paper <laughs> in minecraft basically the rule will be is you can place down the the redstone anywhere where there is the uh the black concrete and then you score your points by placing it on where this quartz is uh, is going to, to be so it's basically going to almost be like a um a bit of a, of a checkered pattern so you know what it might be easier for me just to put down all of the uh, the quartz first and then just fill all of the uh, the rest in with the, the black concrete afterwards. And oh yeah, my twist, my twist. So I don't even know whether this is a good addition, but I wanted to add a little bit more depth because it's obviously like a smaller arena because the way the game works is that the beginning of the game is always a bit boring because it's everyone kind of just like starting off just placing down like, you know, a few lines or in this case redstone. Uh, but you know, no one's close to doing any boxes and then it gets really, really tense and then it like suddenly goes crazy and then there's just boxes appearing everywhere. So I wanted to add a bit of a twist to try and make it a bit more interesting in the beginning. So what I'm going to do in the corners, I'm going to have a redstone torch underneath each of the corners. And I'm going to add a new rule that you only score a point if when you create the box, the redstone is lit up. And what that means is you could make a box but you won't score any points for it, but then you link up that box with other existing redstone that is lit up, and then you can score a point. So basically, I th what I think it might do, and it might not, but what I hope it will do, is it might set up opportunities for you to like score earlier, or maybe even have like two or three boxes and you score them all in one turn. So look, let me go and fill in uh, these last little sections here, uh, and then I'll show you kind of what I mean. So let's say if I've like, I'm here and I've built like, a box like this. I wouldn't score any points until I link it up with that and then it all becomes lit up. And so that kind of, I think, just adds a little bit of a, of a wrinkle to it. Of course, if you wanted to, you could just place your first redstone here and just kind of play it kind of as normally, like, there, you know, there forth. Like, it will stay lit up, like, anywhere uh, from there. So you could just play it like that anyway. But I thought we'd do that as a little twist and maybe that will come into play. Maybe it won't do. Um, but yeah, that was my idea. All right then, so this, ge this game could just be it done. Like, if you wanted to build this game, this could be, like, the easiest build of your life. You could literally just build this and be like, right, here's the game, it works, we can play it. But I want to make things a little bit fancier. <laughs> and I want to I want to make it so you can reset it easier, especially in videos, because, um, yeah, I always have to spend ages resetting uh, between rounds and videos normally. So, right, uh, this is going to go up by six. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six. And basically, uh, what we're building here is uh, the mechanism uh, which is going to, to reset the game. So it's basically just going to be a dispenser uh, pointing down. Once again, if you want to build a super easy version of this game, you could just have a dispenser floating up in the, the air, but I kind of want to make it look like it's being held up. Are these the same height? No, I think I need to go up by one more. That looks better. Uh, so yeah, once again, just kind of building with the uh, the same materials. Uh, this needs to go across by three, I think, here. Uh, I think this might be right. Um, so if I if I just build across here, then I can place down the dispenser, and I can see whether this um looks like uh, like it's correct. So this dispenser needs to be facing directly down uh, like that. Uh, I need to remember to put a bucket in it, and then I'm just going to surround that with uh, with some quartz as well, just because I want to kind of cover it up. And then above that, I'm going to do some uh, quartz half slabs as well, just as a, a little bit of a decoration. Actually, I might. Could, would I be able to place it from here? Yeah, I think I could place it from down here. I think I can just about reach. Uh, and then, yeah, there's going to be buttons on either side so every person can look up. You could 
if you wanted to get really fancy, try and do like a collection method, because as it is now, uh, well, let me do a little demonstration of how it would work. It's a little bit, a little bit messy, but fine. Oh, that is not a button. That is a block. Uh, yeah, let me show you how it would be now. So if I say there was a game here, imagine this is all filled with all carpets and redstone and stuff. It's a big mess. Uh, if I press the button, the water will come out and it'll basically just spread it all to the corners. And so then you could then go and, um, I guess if you do it from here, it'd be a bit easier, uh, turn the water off, and then you could kind of run around to each corner and grab it, which is absolutely fine. It works. It does exactly what it's meant to do. You could get, like, really fancy and add, like, hoppers or, like, have a little channel where the water goes. I just think for, like, the effort of, like, building that and like needing to make the game bigger i i just think it's absolutely not worth it i i think just walking around to each corner like takes literally like five seconds it's just not worth it but if you did want to to kind of take my design and kind of improve it a little bit more you could do a fancy hopper collection method as a uh, as a thing you could do all right let me add uh, some torches and then uh yeah i think i'm gonna go and uh, i think i'm gonna do these as quartz there and then what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to mirror uh, what I have uh, I have built uh, on the the top uh, just to kind of make it symmetrical. And by the way, if you're thinking, God, uh, I know they're called helpers, but they don't seem very helpful. Uh, I did tell them before the episode uh, I don't really need much help building, <laughs> like because because it's such like a small and simple game. Uh, they wanted to to kind of come out and just hang out in my world and play for a bit. Uh, but yeah, there wasn't. <laughs> I didn't really need any help building. I'm just too good. I'm just too good at building. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's why they're. Uh, they're kind of just chilling for a bit uh right then so yeah that that's down there like that so i guess i need to yeah i guess if i fill this in with more black concrete there there and there oh that was satisfying is that all the oh i had the exact this uses exactly a stack of black concrete god that's satisfying isn't it i love little things like that oh uh, yeah so then this well i'll kind of do like that and then i think i need to do these slabs there uh while i'm up here i might add some torches on the top as well because i am worried it is quite dark up here so let's put maybe, maybe one there uh one there uh and one there and i think is it done you know i think i think it might be done you know i think the uh the whole game is uh is completely done i didn't actually you know well, you know when i said i wanted to build the whole thing today i didn't plan for this but i think we could actually have ourselves a little bit of a test around i think we could do a one-off round it would be a good test to see for the other uh, the redstone thing uh polly uh do you want to do you want to face off against me i don't know um <laughs> <laughs> how well you were listening in terms of um uh the the rules of the game basically if you create a box of redstone uh, and the redstone's lit up you put down a carpet of your color and then it marks it as your point and then you place down another one so those are the uh, the rules uh william because this really only works as a, a 1v1 game uh you need to be the judge you need to be the adjudicator and you need to watch really carefully and if anyone's cheating you need to let them know okay <laughs> All right, very good. All uh, right, so yeah, uh, Polly, you'll be um, you'll be green. I tell you what, you know what I might do, I might add a dropper where you um, you fire out um, a color to see who goes first. I don't know who even has an advantage going first, but that's just a way to make sure it's fair, I guess. Uh, so, but yeah, Polly, you can go first. You can go first. So you can place down redstone anywhere where you want, but remember, you only score a point if the uh, the redstone is lit up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a spider! There's a spider coming! There's a spider coming! There's a spider coming! There is a spider coming! Okay, uh, we're back. I re I realise one 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 difficulty with the game is um it's it's unfair if one person has redstone <laughs> but the other player doesn't have redstone. I was wondering what Polly was doing. They were like throwing down like redstone on the floor saying they need redstone. I was like, no, you need to place it, silly Polly. So of course, once you've placed it, it's not like this is my redstone and this is their redstone. Like it, we're just placing redstone. It's just whoever whoever makes a, a box first. So I guess, but oh yeah, but the redstone needs to be lit. So even if we make a box here, the redstone needs to be lit up. And so it would need to be connected. And I guess if you make it so you create several boxes in one go, I guess you should then have that many goes to carry on placing it. Like so say if you place um, redstone and it makes it so um, it like finishes off two boxes, I guess you should then be able to like place another two extra lines. So I can, I can see what Polly's trying to do here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to join. I'll play, I'll play your game, Polly. I'll play the game. We're getting risky. We're really getting close to like some boxes al already. I think Polly's going to try and link it up with the redstone they have lit up down there. I think that's the. Uh, I think that's the plan. Have you, have, have you gone, Polly? Or are you? Are you still thinking? Oh, you've gone. Okay, my go. Right. I need to. I just need to pay attention. Apparently, I can see what you're doing. I can see what you're doing here. Um, I can go. I can go here. 
and it's safe because if Polly Place is there, it will be all lit up, but the box won't be complete yet. <laughs> We're getting so risky. It's basically like, who's going to make the first mistake? Oh, oh, wait, no, I can do it. I can do a box. And it's lit up. Yes. No, no, so yes. Yeah, so, so I get to, so that's on box. So I get to have another go, which means I can do that to do another box. And then I can do that to do another box. And I still have one more <laughs> go. Do you see what I mean? It starts off really slow and then it starts getting faster. And oh, yeah, I need, I need to mark it. And I, I still have one more that I can place. But I don't think I can create another box. So I'm just going to go and place it down here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do the uh, the coward's way out. <laughs> right. So if I place there, well, that's no, that was set up for a box. I guess I can go. Oh, I can't go there. Yet. I go here on this corner. I, d I don't want to be. I don't want to be too pat. I want to keep up the uh, keep up the aggression now. Actually, and I want to try and get uh, to do it close to do another box. You know, what? I like I like my new addition. I like my my new addition of doing it so the box needs to to be lit up. I think it's um it's a good twist and it works with like what like just how redstone works anyway. So I think it's quite a natural way to do it. So I can go here, but if I did any more there, that would end up kind of cr creating a, a box opportunity. So I, th I think this is going to, this is what I said about, you know, the, the slow, gradual build up, where basically it's going to be a case where everyone's filling in as many spaces as they can and trying to get as close to doing a box as possible, but not completely doing it yet. And so it's why I didn't do this arena. Um, oh, can I do a box here? Oh, no, I can't. Yeah, it's why I didn't do this arena any bigger than I did, because you might think like, oh, it's very small for the arena. But if it's any bigger, you just spend so long in like the, the build up phase. So, I mean, you could even do it slightly smaller than it is now to do like faster pace rounds and you don't even have to do it in this exact shape you could have other bits i don't know oh polly did a bite i didn't even notice oh i was there blabbering away Shane. you could do it bigger you could do it smaller and then oh no out of nowhere a doubler a doubler and polly can place one more bit of redstone now as well and you think she's trying to be so careful about where to place oh wait Oh no, I can't do. Okay, I, th I thought I thought I could do a box there. Uh, right, we're really um, we're really running out of room here. It's so so close. So Polly's got two, and I got uh, I got three. Oh, do you need more redstone? Okay. Oh, well, hopefully we're gonna have enough redstone. Actually, I did. <laughs> I didn't think about this. Is there any redstone we can steal from somewhere? I really didn't think we were gonna get a uh, a full test around. But one good thing to learn is that uh, thirty two pieces of redstone each may not be enough. Oh, I keep thinking. Wait, if I do there. Will that be able to make a box? Uh, no, that's okay. God, it's gonna. You know what's gonna happen? It's gonna literally get to a point, and someone's gonna make a box, and then they're gonna get all of these in one giant chain reaction. Like it's not a case now of trying to set anything up. It's just where are the last few places you can put down redstone without it making a box? Oh, is there anywhere I can go? Oh no, is there is there anywhere I can um? I can because that would set up there. That would set up there. Oh, here. I can go there. There we go. That doesn't set it up. I don't know. Oh, it did set it up. It does. Oh, no. I'm so rubbish. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dude. You, you can place another one. You can place another bit of redstone somewhere. But is that going to set me up when she, uh, when, when she places it? Oh, oh, there's another. Oh, there's another bit there. I, th I, I think she ran out of redstone, though. Oh no, oh, and that sets up another one! And that sets up an item! Oh, 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 you probably got, oh no, that doesn't set up another one. G game on, actually. Game on, there might actually be, um, there might, this might actually be doable. I think we're, we're really <laughs> running out of redstone here, but I don't know if, um, I don't know if, if Polly can, um, can do another box. Ooh, she set me up there. And I think, can you go, oh no, you couldn't have gone there, right. You know, she, she's been so smart here. Because she's done it so I'm going to get a few, but these are like so separate from the the others. It's literally just all I'm going to to be able to to do. Uh, right, I've run, I've run out of redstone. I might need to. Where, where can I steal some redstone from? <laughs> There's going to be some. Uh, where, where 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 has redstone around here? There might be um. Maybe in here is there redstone? I I put I, I return it all. I promise. But we just need a tiny bit of redstone. I mean, this is my fun land. There's got to be like redstone everywhere. Is there some redstone in here? Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> some, I'm just gonna go and pillage some redstone from here. Oh, here we go. I'm like, I'm like mining my own mini games. All right, that should hopefully be a. <laughs> Enough for a bit. Oh god, now I'm gonna have to remember how that redstone works. So I go and fix it. But this this game is too close. For us to, to not carry on. Oh, William's got some as well. Oh, thank you, William. Okay. Right. Uh, so I, I can place one more, right? Because I've just done them. But 
I don't I don't really want to. I th I think I think it's game over. Uh I guess if I go here, then Polly will be able to get these two. Um and then but then she might set me up here to get these last few. It is very very close though. I'm not I don't know if there's a definite winner here. I think Polly might slightly have the the edge, but I don't think it's going to be really one sided. So I can go there, there to do this one. And then, oh, is it going to let me place it? Why can't I place that? There we go. And then here. And now we need to count them up. So blue scored one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then green is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's eight all! We drew! It was so close after all that. It ended off a, a draw. Oh, I, I wonder if I need to, um, to think of like a, a tiebreaker way to, to work it out. What I could maybe do is like, um, do like one little extra bit off the side, make it so there's an odd amount, so then there's never a tie. That could be a, a good way to, to kind of do a, a, an addition. You know what? I'm super glad we had this test around because it gave me a, a few things to, to think about. So yeah, I may. Oh, look at the little the little zombie riding in their little boat. <laughs> I know they're like evil and attack you, but they're still quite cute. Yeah, I might have a little tinker. And then when we uh, we come back for the, uh, the next episode, uh, I might have changed it ever so slightly. But yeah, hopefully this has given you a, a good idea of what the uh, the game is going to, to be like. Anyway, though, uh, that is the, uh, the end of this episode here we'll be coming back in the next episode to play the game i also don't have a name for the game yet so we will announce the uh, the name of the the game as well then but apart from that uh, thank you uh, so much to uh, to polly for helping me play uh, thank you to william for being here <laughs> thank you for you for watching and i'll see you later bye